Meet the Market Leader proudly sponsored by Welcome to a Meet the Market Leader session a TV program and today we are going to uh, interview a uh, Managing Director of uh, uh, Ndege Insurance Broker and also is a chairman, executive chairman of uh, GMBA uh, Group uh, in Limited in Tanzania. So uh, uh, we're going to discuss a couple of questions uh, regarding the insurance sector and uh, the trade of the economy and how we're following our fees and uh, opportunities that we have now. So I uh, want to welcome to you uh, Mr. Sebastian Ndege. Welcome to our session. Thank you. Yes, yes. Uh, how do you think? Yeah, it's good. it's good. Yes, people nowadays they say upper kazi too. Upper kazi too and we're working hard. Okay, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, today we're going to discuss uh, about uh, uh, insurance and uh, daily insurance. So, uh, by starting, I want to know what is daily insurance broker and what are you doing at daily uh, insurance okay. broker? Daily insurance brokers is uh, among the oldest. It's actually the oldest. The wow, insurance the oldest. Broker, the oldest, 50 years old. Wow. Uh, insurance broker in Tanzania. You have been operating for for the past 50 years. Years in the market. Right. Yes. Wow. We started as agents. Yes. Uh, back in 1960s. Yes. And we've been working with, uh, with NIC. By that yes. time, there used to be what we call market monopoly. NIC was the only national insurance uh, corporation. Was the only insurance uh, firm in the country. So we were agents by that time. Okay. After uh, 1998, I think, uh, yes. liberalization of, uh, of the insurance industry. Yes. So they allowed multiple insurance players to play in the market. Yes. Whereby other insurance companies uh, came in from all over the country, especially from the Kenyan market. Yes. So we became broker by that time. So we were granted our one of our first. We were we were, we were the first insurance brokers to be. To be granted an insurance broker license in Tanzania. Okay. And uh, speaking of insurance brokers in the market, we we actually the the only uh, large large we are the largest yes among the local insurance brokers and we are the most experienced the local indigenous indigenous yes. okay and uh, among the whole insurance company in Tanzania uh, maybe uh, w w what position are you ranking yourself? I would say we are among the top. Uh, we are among top ten. Okay. Yes. Most of people nowadays they say that in order to succeed or to break through in the insurance market and other you know sector like uh, we are, you know consulting firm like law, you know legal service and other sector, you need to partner with uh, big organizations, especially from South Africa. What do you think about this? Okay, I would say it's it's uh, it's necessary when you need to capture the international market but it is unnecessary when you you are targeting another niche or the local niche like insurance we have an uh, ties or collaboration with other big organizations around the world we we have we have organizations that we work with yes but although we've not partnered in terms of uh, of uh, um, market shares and you know, those kind of uh, kind of uh, acquisitions we've not been acquired okay. Okay. or change of name or what, but we, we work with international companies. Have you reached as general insurance sector? How far have you uh, penetrated the market? Okay. Penetration rate in Tanzania is quite low, it's, yes I agree. I think it's 3 to 5% right now. Okay. If speaking of, of uh, motor insurance, yes. there's, a, there's a law, there's a statutory uh, requirement for anyone owning a motor vehicle yes. to place a third party insurance, at least a third party insurance. Okay. And that's what most people with motor vehicle insurance will take. Okay. And of course, taking uh, consideration of uh, a comprehensive insurance, yes. it's more expensive yes. to run, to pay for, and to, of course, uh, yes. to manage. Yes. So there has been challenges in terms of, uh, of understanding the insurance itself, okay. the meaning of insurance, the value of insurance, okay. the comfort that it will bring when you have insurance in your in your well, with your property, yes. the protection itself, and also differentiation between uh, insurance and other forms of of, uh, of uh, business transactions. So um, there is rumors, rumors, the corporate 
most of people who say nowadays we are smart, you know, they don't make enough money. The company that you used to make enough money last year, they cut down spending by half. The company like uh, maybe last year they spent more than 100 million or no, 100 million or 50 billion. Today they spend less than 20 billion or 20. I don't know. So, what, what is your perception about this rumors in the corporate world? I'm glad you say rumors. Yes. Yes, I'm glad you said rumors because it is really rumors because I've not heard any official release of uh, economic sluggish, uh, sluggishness or economic uh, uh, stagna uh, stagnation of the economy. Yes. Uh, I've not seen anything official that has been released by the Tanzanian Bureau of Statistics or any, any corporate releasing their official uh, statement uh, talking of that. Okay. So it is something that has been talked around uh, yes. with people of I drink in bars and places. That's why you even refer to it as rumors. So, <laughs> yeah. so because of that, uh, and because this is our official interview, I wouldn't like to speak about rumors. Okay, um, let's forget about that. Um, in Tanzania, as uh, uh, you say before, that uh, the insurance penetration is quite low. Um, I want to know from you, Harish, um, how many regions do you cover in Tanzania? And uh, so far, how many staff do you have? Yes. Our company has 25 staff okay. overall. However, we, we have a historical background in terms of where the company started. Started with Lexon, so that's where we of course treated mostly of our branches. Okay. In Soma, in Tarime, in, okay. in Shinyanga. Okay. We also have one other, uh, our main Lexon branches in Mwanza. Okay. Although we've been recently uh, making efforts to open up in the in the in the northern zone, in okay. Arusha, and we'll soon be opening one in there. Okay. So we're gonna be somehow covering the entire country okay. through our zonal offices. Of course, we have layers on. Uh, officers and managers who are working in different areas, including the central area in, uh, in Dodoma, we have our liaison offices. Okay. And also we work with smaller agents who, are, who work for us and okay. we, they represent our business in terms of contracts that we have with our agents. So we also have, as a brokers, we work with the multiple insurance companies. Yeah. However, we have agents who work for us throughout Tanzania. Okay. Uh, um, human resource. We believe that uh, uh, for, na for the nation to have, a, to, have a, to have a voice or to, to, be, to become a, one of the strongest nations in the world, we need to have the best human uh, capital in the country. Exactly. So that to become a very strong nation like America, like exactly. China, we need, to, have a, we need to, uh, to produce the best people from Tanzania so that we can compete around the world. So, um, Mr. Magufuli actually decided to uh, reduce experience of training and uh, uh, development of human capital in Tanzania. What do you think about this? Training and development of human capital in Tanzania. Uh, what I believe is that, uh, unfortunately, the trend that was set before uh, in the government sector was that there were, of course, yes, training and development, yes, abroad, yes, but they were accused. Yeah. These were the systems which were abused. Yeah. So what President Magufuli has done, he has, he has just uh, filtered, cut down, and stopped the, the opportunity to abuse the system so that they can set up correct uh, mechanisms whereby people who need to be trained, really, they go to be trained, and they are selected uh, uh, with criteria that uh, has a... Has a uh, people who are eligible, you know, there's, there's, there's something to do with the eligibility of who goes for the training. There used to be who and who, it was about who Anandegui, knows who. And Anandegui insurance yes. broker, how do you uh, recruit people? Are you recruiting people based on the track record or which criteria are you using? Are you using maybe mindset, their process, they have now? What do they believe? What do they think now? Oh, what, what kind of criteria are you using to a company to retain and to work with the best people? Okay. Personally, I'm a believer of talent. 
Yes. I believe in talent. Okay. And I also believe in passion. Yes. And people who are determined to deliver. Yes. And I also believe in young uh, individuals who have entrepreneurial minds. Yes. And this is how I grow in the market. Yes. Of course, I know everybody would have, you know, a lot of people now are qualified. They have university degrees. They're working in the streets. Yes. However, they differ in terms of their integrity. They differ in terms of their determination, how much they're de determined, inspired, and how much they are focused into making changes. Okay. So, so this is how I measure the people that I bring into my business. To create the environment of teamwork, mm -hmm. the environment of family, mm -hmm. there you will have a very successful retention process. Thanks, Dr. Sebastian Idege, for coming. Thanks for being with us today uh, at uh, Meet the Market Leader uh, session. It's Dr. Sebastian Idege. And uh, for uh, your updates, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Meet the Market Leader. Meet the Market Leader proudly sponsored by